Okay, in this uh, video, I'm going to show you how to go and how to how to write out nuclear reactions. It's similar to the way we wrote out chemical reactions. We have kind of products and re reactants and products. We call them parent nucleides and daughter nucleides, but it's basically the same thing. And the symbols are um, similar. We have little, little or of course, they're a little different. So um, I'm going to show you how to do that. And um, there's only three of them that you have to be aware of: alpha, beta minus, and beta plus. So it's not actually that complicated. Um, but this is the way it works out. So th there is an element that actually goes, undergoes alpha decay. We'll start with alpha decay. And the element that actually undergoes alpha decay, this is the symbol for alpha decay, or for an alpha particle, is uranium. So we can actually just start with uranium. And you'll know, of course, that all uranium atoms have 92 protons in their nuclei. And we'll say that this is the isotope of uranium-238. Now you remember that an alpha particle is basically <clears throat> a helium nucleus. Helium has two protons, and it's a helium-4 nucleus, so it has two neutrons. And every alpha decay uh, emits a helium, uh, helium nucleus. So we have our little arrow. We know, therefore, from an alpha decay, we're always going to get a helium nucleus. Always, always, always. And our uranium nucleus lost, or as we said before, spit out this helium nucleus. So therefore, uh, it's lost two protons and two neutrons. And therefore, it's going to become a different element. If we're uranium with 92 new, uh, protons and we lose two protons, now we have 90. And we lose uh, a total of four nucleons, protons and neutrons. We become 234. And if you look on your periodic table, that is the element thorium. So when uranium undergoes alpha decay, you end up with thorium-234. All right? And that's it. That's alpha decay. All right. Let's go on to beta decay. And let's see. Good color for beta decay. And we're going to start with beta Minus, and the way we write that is we have beta, and then we put a little b with that tail, and we put a little minus sign next to it. All right, now you remember we started up, we ended up here with thorium 234, and it actually just so turns out that uh, thorium 234 actually will undergo beta decay. Now you have to remember that beta decay involves a neutron turning into a proton and in the process we also get an electron so we write that electron we write like this minus one we put a zero here because an electron really doesn't have any mass so uh, we draw a little arrow and we show up here our electron that we lose that gets spit out of our nucleus well, in the process, we also said that a neutron turns into a proton. So we are going to end up with an element that has an atomic number of 91 because one of our neutrons turned into a proton. So we end up with element 91. Now, the mass number never changes. All we did was we switched a neutron to a proton, and this is the number of neutrons and protons, so it stays the same. That is, the mass number stays the same, and this is an element that we call pro tractium, like that. So that's the result of when thorium undergoes beta minus decay, it gains a proton, and we end up with that element, protractium-234. All right? So that's beta minus. Now, you remember, beta plus, we said, was similar, except it is the opposite of that. So let's see. Let's pick a nice color here. How about this nice purple? Okay, so now we're going to do beta plus, and we'll put our little b with the tail, we'll put a plus, and an element that can actually undergo beta plus is calcium, and this is calcium 20, uh, excuse me, calcium 40, 20 protons, a mass number of 40, and you should remember now that in this case, one of the protons is going to turn into a neutron, but in this case, we're going to emit a positron, and the way we write that out is Kind of the opposite of an electron, so we write an E 
but we put a plus one and it's still the mass is very small, so we put a zero up there. So here's how we write out that uh, nuclear reaction. We put our positron and we put a zero there because it has a zero mass. And one of our protons turns into a neutron. So in this case, we're going to go down <coughs> in our atomic number. So now this becomes atomic number 19, but once again, we're just switching a proton for a neutron, so our nucleons, the number of nucleons, actually stays the same. And this is potassium-19. Okay? Excuse me, potassium-40. Um, so that's beta plus decay. All right? So let's just do a quick, uh, quick review. Alpha decay, we emit an alpha particle, and our atomic number goes down by 2, and our mass number goes down by 4, always. Uh, in beta, minus decay... Um, we emit uh, an electron, and one of our neutrons turns into a proton, so our atomic number goes up by one, but our mass number stays the same. In beta plus decay, one of our protons turns into a neutron and emits this other particle, which we haven't really talked about. We call that a positron. So because one of the protons turns into a neutron, our atomic number is going to go down by one, but our mass number stays the same. All right, so it's pretty straightforward. You just have to remember those rules. All right, thank you very much.